What up, crew? <laughs> Better. Um, so happy 2019. Yeah, happy yeah. new year, guys. A month later. Thank you guys for sticking with us yeah. and putting up with our horrible uploading yeah. schedules. We got a lot of shit going on yeah. right now. <laughs> like a lot of crap. And you'll see, you'll see. So stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned if you're curious. <laughs> oh, if y'all hear noise in the background, it's because that's your city. Yeah, yeah we're, we're in my room. house and they're in the kitchen eating. So um, We have huge news. Oh, right. We have a lot of changes yeah. and a lot of new content coming coming for you guys. So if anyone wants to say anything. <laughs> well, I don't really have shit to say. I have shit to say. I went to go cut my hair today. <laughs> Horrible. Don't ever go to Vanessa's. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so boring. Oh, my God. If only I could show you. Oh, my God. Look at this. You see? They had to fix it. You see how short? Here, let me show you. Let me get close. Motherfuckers. You see that? You see how short this you is? You can't pop like a little picture. Look at that. Yeah. Show. You have to, you have, ha they have to fix it. And I'm still not even satisfied. I got my money back, let's just say that. And just so I know, this is like an updates video. This isn't really a challenge, anything like that. Mm -mm. We're just updating you guys with news and things that have been going on in our lives. Mm -hmm. So. So yeah, I'm back in school. Um. I work at Charlotte Roos now, still work at Brahms. That's pretty much new to me. Oh, and I'm taking, I'm getting my braces off next month. Oh yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Are you gonna reveal the pearly white? I know. <laughs> that's pretty much it for me. I've been like really slacking at work because they cut our hours. Mm. So I really need to look for another second part-time job and yeah, I really want to look for a, f a hobby this year, like, other than YouTube. Like, I want to, I don't know, join a Dude, club or something. Dude, you should have told me that. Okay, so for this video, are we saying, like, New Year resolutions or, like, what I we're guess trying you can. To yeah, yeah, a mixture of anything, like, just, just updates. Yeah, update okay, everything. then I have more stuff. Okay, <laughs> okay we'll go. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm trying to be on a fucking diet, man. <laughs> okay, we're, well, I'm waiting for the weather to get a little bit warm because I'm too lazy to do it in the cold, if I'm being honest. And I'm also getting fat, so we, we have to While I up. wait for Yaxani so she, she, could, waits. she could work out with me, uh, I'm trying to eat good right have now. Have you? A little. I admit, I just slack and, like, binge eat. Like, a, I don't know. I'm still kind of, like, I don't know, lost in life, I guess. That's what oh, I can say. You and me both. Thing because like recently I've been feeling like okay back in November I went through like some it's called like palpitations so it's so when your heart beats like really fast and I basically thought I was having a heart attack so I woke my parents up and um, they basically told me to drink water to calm down and that's what I did and then after that um, my I started getting like heart pains like chest pain so I went to the doctor and they told me that at first it was my asthma because I have asthma and then after I started taking my inhaler and stuff I still got the pains and they told me I went to the doctor <coughs> again and they told me that I have anxiety so they gave me pills for that and I haven't taken them because I still believe that I don't have anxiety like so I never took the pills and then I got worse so I finally told my mom to like take me to the emergency room and she took me and they told me that I was just dehydrated like they did x-rays and put an IV in me and everything we were there till like 2 in the morning and they told all they said was I'm dehydrated so still no I have no idea like what the hell is like wrong with me and I have like an appointment with the cardiologist that like specializes in like on your heart and stuff in March and I've tried to make an appointment um, <clears throat> for like my regular doctor that I go to all the time but she doesn't have appointments until March as well so but yeah, like, recently when I had my period, like, that was, like, I felt like I was literally gonna die. Like, like, it was, like, cramps and, like, all your menstrual symptoms. P 
plus like my heart and chest pain. I don't know, I've looked up symptoms and stuff like on Google, but that shit only like freaks me out even more. Don't, don't, because what if you find, <laughs> no, don't scare yourself. <clears throat> so if any of y'all have been going through something similar, comment down below. If you know what it is. Yeah, it's, it, I just feel my heart racing sometimes. Sometimes I have to catch my breath. Like I feel like my heart will stop and then I'll be like, and then other times like I, I don't know I just get like electric pains like if if electricity were to like shock your chest like I don't know it's like a weird like zap or something and then that's basically it like and I've gone to the doctor three times so this upcoming um appointment in March will be my fourth time going to the doctor. Damn, well, bitches, I had a lot of shit going on in my life right now. So y'all know how I had a boyfriend? That's over. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Let me start right there. <laughs> it's over. Um, he was horrible, and I don't give a shit if he sees this, because it's the fucking truth. He says he's not, and he's never disrespected me, but let me tell you, he is horrible. Oh my god. Yeah, fuck him. Does he watch fuck him? it? I know he don't. He don't even know about it. But if you ever found out about it, <laughs> fuck you, dude. Uh, like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. So, because I'm going to tell y'all what I went through. So nobody could, like, nobody will go through, through this. this. Because it really isn't, it's not fun what I'm going through right now. So, so let me tell y'all. So, you know, I thought this guy was nice, but... He's not. I just told myself that because I really wanted to not be alone anymore. But don't settle. Don't ever settle, man. Because it's not worth it. It really isn't worth it. So if I'm being honest with you, on our first date, uh, we went to the movies. We went to go watch that Harry Potter movie. The something Beasts or something. I can't remember the name. But um, we went to the movies and he was very touchy-touchy from the beginning. And I did feel uncomfortable when I when I went with him. I, I was like, okay, I mean, I guess kissing is fine. It's fine, right? And um, uh, so we were at the movies. He was kissing me and touching me everywhere. I was just like, oh, fuck, whatever. I ignored it. I pretended like it was okay. I, we went to the movies and then um, he kept touching me like my body at the movie theater and he kept kissing me and i told him look i knew where this was going and i told him look dude i want to wait i was like because i ain't trying to do that shit on the first date i was like i know how guys work they get what they want and they move on and you know how he is how guys are they're like no i'm not like that i'm different you know i'm not gonna leave like you know just stupid shit to try to convince you to do what they want and I was like, look, I was like, if you're really different, then I don't want to do anything. I was like, I want to wait. I want to do this right. I want to wait a good amount before we ever do anything because I just, I want to, you know, it's what I want. And if it's what I want, the bitch never understood. He kept, he was like, all right, we can wait. He said, all right, we can wait. But like, he still kissed me. He still, he still pressured me into doing things. And, um... And he says he never did this, but it's the truth. And you know what? I don't care. I don't care if he says it and if he doesn't see it. I know what happened and I know how it went down. And if he doesn't want to admit it, that's his problem. But I know how it went down. So um, we were at the movie theater. He kept being touchy, touchy. And I kept telling I like I even would like push him away, like scared. But I would be like, don't, don't. Like, I don't want to. I was like, I want to wait. He wouldn't understand. He didn't get it. And I just felt extremely pressured. I didn't know what to do. At one point, I was even thinking about leaving. I went, I told him I was going to go call my mom to tell her that I was at the movie theater ready to watch the movie, that I was already with him. I was even thinking about leaving, like just leaving and just not even going back inside to the movie theater. But I was like, I'm not like that. I'm not a bitch. And I, I felt like, what if he's actually a good guy? That's what I told myself, but I mean, come on, from the beginning, I should have known. Um, but I, I told myself, I'm like, what if he's actually a good person and then I'm being an ass and running away, you know? 
So I was like, okay, I'm not going to leave. But I did call my mom and I told her where I was at and that we were at the movie theater. So, um, so we were at the movie theater and he kept doing things. He kept touching me. Eventually it got to the point where he was touching me down there. I kept telling him to stop. I kept getting his hand and trying to take it out, but he would just keep going back. I felt fucking pressured. I'm not even lying. It, it was horrible. We ended up, like, I just, I felt insecure the whole time. I felt so uncomfortable, but I don't know. I felt like I had already tried, and I ended up just giving up. I gave up, so we ended up just doing things. Like, we, I had sex with him. Not because, I mean, I, I should have put my foot down. I should have, but I didn't. I just did it because I, I felt pressured, and I gave in. I was like, you know, I just did. And, um... So yeah, um, don't ever, don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Cause that's just fucking horrible. It's, it's just sucks. And then I would just tell myself that it was because he liked me and I, you know, just stupid shit to make myself feel better, you know? And you should never do that because if a guy really likes you and if he really is an adult, then he'll wait. He'll understand that you want to fucking wait and it just is the way it is. If he even remotely tries pressuring you, then he's not the one for you and he's not the right guy. So move on. If, if he pressures you, don't don't even do what I don't do what I did, because then you're just going to end up in the same situation that I'm in now. So uh, I was with him for like a good month and a while and, and uh, multiple times I told him throughout the relationship that I wanted to stop having sex with him because I felt like we were rushing into things and I just didn't like where this was going. He just would pretend like he would uh, like at the movie theater he would pretend he was like okay fine we can stop and you know if, like every time I would go see him he always pressured me into having sex every time dude every time I would go over every time without a fucking miss i'm pretty sure he never liked me and he just used me for sex i am pretty 100 percent sure because when someone likes you they don't pressure you to do something you don't want to do ever so um yeah i just every time i would try telling him that i and it was multiple times that i tried telling him and multiple times he was like yeah okay i understand but then whenever i would go see him because we were gonna go out then he we wouldn't go out and he would just want to do shit. And like there's a lot more to the story. But I really don't want to get into like details. details. Cause it's just. It's a lot of shit that I don't really like telling people. Like it's it's just. It's personal. And it's not that I don't want to let y'all know. Cause it's, I, want, I want to help. And like maybe help y'all. Prevent this from happening to you guys. But I don't think I'm ready to get to. This part of it. Cause I mean I don't even if I'm being honest I don't I don't I don't know I, I mean probably she's the only one that that knows about everything like like details so um, I mean I, I just don't feel comfortable yet talking about it but I mean I will one day just not yet there's a lot more to that that's just the most important part right now where I want to tell y'all that don't ever do something because you feel pressured do it because you want to do it so. Don't do don't make the same mistakes as me. After a while, he, um, we kept getting into fights because he kept saying that we were gonna that he was gonna take me out on a date because I kept telling him, dude, we just do we just have sex. And I was like, that's not what I want. I wanted a relationship, not that. And he would just be like, Okay, we're going on a date this day, and then he would fucking cancel on me. Not even cancel, not even cancel. He would just not answer me and he would go to the strip club. He would do his own fucking thing and then say he forgot about it because he was tired because he worked too much. But he wasn't tired enough to go get drunk and go get fucking lap dances from strippers, was he? No. So he just gave me excuses, but you know what I did? I pretended like they were true. You know, I wanted to believe him. I wanted to think that he actually liked me and that he forgot, but he didn't. And it didn't just happen once, it happened multiple times. He multiple times would just ditch me to go out with his stupid friends. And you know, I had let him borrow money. I had let him borrow, not a lot, it was just $100, but I let him borrow money and he was like hesitant to give it to me. And um, 
I ended up just breaking up with him. I was like, look, dude, I can't do this. I was like, you obviously don't like me because you don't work hard enough to... He wouldn't text me for hours. And, like, I get it. I get it. You have a job. I do, too. I get it. It gets busy. But let me fucking know, man. He wouldn't text me till the next day. And he could still... And throughout the time that he wouldn't text me, he was still able to be online and post shit on stupid Facebook. I'd say if he's able to post and like stupid shit on Facebook, then he's able to respond to my message. If I am important enough, then he would respond to my message. At least that's how I see it. I mean, how the fuck is Facebook more important than me? I, I don't know. And then, um, so yeah, um, after after that, I just told him I wanted to break up because obviously he doesn't care about me enough. And obviously, you know, this wasn't going anywhere. I, d I didn't like him. I, di I did like him. I did. And, um, and I did like him, but I just, I don't know. I, I, did, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. And you're supposed to be happy. And, in, and it had barely been a month and we were already having problems like that. So I had broke up with him and I told him I was just, and then dude. I would always drive up to him. He lived in Dallas, and he never once tried coming over to, to see me. He didn't have a car, but if he really wanted to see me, he could ask his fuck. He drives his parents' car to work. He couldn't have asked if he could come over to my house for a little bit just to pick me up and take me out to get something to eat or something. I always drove over there. Always. And I waste my gas a lot. Dallas, is, it's not far, but it ain't close either. You know, and then going all the time, it adds up. The gas, I was wasting gas like crazy. And um, and so I was just like, I was tired. I was getting tired of it that this was literally just a one-way, one way, one-sided relationship. I was the one trying my best. He didn't fucking try at all. And all he did was use me for sex and pressured me to always have to have sex with him, even though I didn't want to. So, um, so don't ever fall for that shit. If he pressures you or she even for the guys too. If she pressures you, then no. Then she don't like you and she's just using you. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. And if you're going through that shit right now, end it. Because it starts off like that and it can get abusive. It can. When you start standing up for yourself. So end it now while you can. So um, I told him I was just going to break up with him. I was going to go pick up my money. He could pay me back and then he'll never hear from me ever again. So I, I, he was being a, whenever I told him, I'm already, I'm, I'm going, I'm picking up my money this day. I don't care. He's like, actually, no. He's like, I'm going to go to the club. I'm going to go out with my friends. I was like, uh, uh, I don't care if you're going to go out with your friends. You can give me my money first and then you can fucking go out with your friends. I'm already on my way. Cause I'm not, I'm not going to be dealing with that shit no more. I'm tired of people always stepping on me and doing whatever the fuck they want with me. I'm done. I'm like up to here with that shit. So, you fuck with me, I'm fucking with you too. I'm done. I'm really done. And I'm sorry this is so, like, you know, mean. Because our videos are never like this. But mm. I'm just tired of it, you know? You just get to the point where you can't take it anymore. And, um, so, yeah. We, um, we, uh, uh. I went and then he just kept calling me and talking shit to me, telling me that I'm fucking taking forever. Well, duh, you live in Dallas and I live in Fort Worth. What you think is going to take five minutes? Duh, I'm going to take forever. And he kept complaining that I'm taking forever to get there and that he had shit to do and he wanted to leave. He todavía, you know, he asks me, he has the decency to ask me if I can give him a ride home after I pick up the fucking money. Like, really, bitch? I was like, uh, no. I was like, nah, you're with your friend. You can ask your friend to take you home. I'm not taking you home. He's like, he's like, oh, bitch, you ain't going to take me home. Fuck you then. I'm not going to wait for you then. I'm going to leave already. I'm going to go home, this, this, and that. He starts arguing with me. I'm like, nah, I'm already here. You can come give me my money, and then you can go. He's like, I'm not walking up to you. He's like, you're walking up to me. I was like, oh, my God, really, bitch? I was like, all right, then. So I walk up to him, and I'm like, give me my money. Like, just give it to me. The bitch, he's like, you want your fucking money? You want your fucking money? And he takes out a $100 bill and he throws it at me. He's like, here's your fucking money. And then he gets more cash, like fucking $8. It was literally a $5 bill, $3 bills. Se cree bien rico el güey, pero bien pinche pobre. Porque si no, no me preguntara a mí. He makes a lot of money. A lot of money. I make shit compared to him. And he still has to ask me for money. The fuck is that? 
And then, um, <laughs> I thought she was gonna go. Three dollars, and he's like, and he's like, here's more fucking money. He's like, here, like, acting like he all rich, throwing 20s, throwing 50s, and he threw me eight fucking dollars. He's like, here's more fucking money, too. Here, bitch. Started disrespecting me like fucking crazy. I was like, I have never, ever been disrespected like that in my entire life. Like, like, seriously, that is the most I've ever been disrespected. At the time, I thought so. You know, there's more shit that's happened ever since. But, you know, the world is shitty. And expect worse shit in life. So, um, he threw that money at me. I just picked up my cash and I left. I wasn't going to take his sh shitty cash. Everybody else said that I should have for gas. But I was like, I'm not going to take his Except money. Except for me. I told her that he should have grabbed it and ripped it. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I didn't think about that. That's actually genius. But then I was like, nah, his dumb ass is going to bend over and pick it up himself because I'm not going to be doing that shit. I'm not picking nobody's cash up for nobody. I was like, I just picked up my money. I literally, I didn't tell him anything. I walked away and I got into my car. I tried holding in my tears until I got into the car, which I did. I, I did. I, I didn't cry until I got into my car. But you, it was hurtful. It may not sound as bad as you think it is, but when you go through something like that, it is pretty horrible. Because I felt crappy. I felt shitty about myself. I felt like I was trash. Like I was a cualquiera and he just threw money at me. Like I'm some kind of trashy girl. I don't know. I didn't feel good about myself. I mean, and I'm already insecure. And then somebody that you think cares about you disrespects you like that. I mean, think about how hurtful that would be if that would happen to you. So, um... Broke up with him and he still tried text. He still tried texting me shit. He called. He said fuck you to like to me and and I was just like I'm done, dude. And then then later on tried getting back together with me. He said that he was sorry and he would never do that again. That he can change. Don't believe that shit. I did not go back with him. I did try at one point, but it was just because I found out I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant and I found out I'm what, like nine weeks? I'm nine weeks now. I think I just turned nine. So I found out I was pregnant and I told him and at first he wanted me to get an abortion. He said because the baby ain't even a baby yet, that it's nothing, that it's just a fucking bean, that it ain't shit. I'm like, dude, it's a living thing. It's a, it's a person. It is a baby. It is a human. I'm not getting an abortion just because you, your dumb ass ain't ready for another kid. Because he already pays child support for one kid. And he doesn't. He told me, are you going to put me on child support? He doesn't want me to put him on child support. Which he ain't helping for shit. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to put him on child support. Because it's not my fault. Not my fault. I told him I wanted to wait. And he didn't want to fucking wait. Ahora he's going to get what he deserves. This baby is, it's not the baby's fault. That, that shitty ass man is the father. Um, so I'm keeping my baby. I'm going to keep my child. Um, I'm going to put my last name on it. He ain't, he, my baby's not going to have his last name because, mm -mm, fuck no. Hell no. I'm not, no. And, um, but yeah, guys, I'm freaking pregnant. <laughs> it's a good thing. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. My mom is giving me problems right now. She doesn't really, we're not even talking at the moment because she just keeps talking shit to me. Like, constantly telling me and accusing me of stuff saying that i'm drinking and doing drugs but i'm not because i'm pregnant so uh how me and cynthia found out yeah because i texted us and she said that hey guys i think i'm pregnant yeah. no wait no Did i told you? you i'm pregnant yeah yeah she was because like, i had gone to the hospital i think already <clears throat> so she said i'm pregnant and then me and Cynthia were like, wait, no, I think I told you, right? I was like, Cynthia, did you just read that? Because I was in my room and you were in your room. And I was like, did you just read that? <laughs> and I think she was like, no, what did she say? And I was like, read it. <laughs> and then <laughs> I read it. I thought you were lying. No, nah, bro. I and I was saying. like, is she, you think she's pranking us? Like, is she lying? I, I kind of like felt, I, like, I, I felt like I, I thought you were lying, but at the same time, I kind of felt like you weren't. Because I had already told you that I thought I was. Yeah, then, that's why I thought Yeah, you I were. had already thought, I had already told her I thought I was. And then I told her, swear to God, and she didn't say anything, so I was like, she has to be pranking no, us. No, I didn't even see that. <laughs> I swear to you, I did not say, I didn't see swear to God. And I was like, swear to God, and she never swore to God, and I kept telling Cynthia, like, 
I don't know. I feel like she's pranking us. Like, because she hasn't sworn to God. I didn't see that. I didn't yeah, see that's that. That's why, like, that's why, like, I didn't know. Like, I was like, I feel like she's lying. Mm-hmm. But then in the back of my mind, I'm like, I feel like she's not mm-hmm. lying. That was So it. I didn't know what to think. I was confused. I was like, I don't know if she's lying or not. I mean, and then I told them that even my mom knew already because she's the one that went to the hospital with me when I found out I was pregnant. So, yeah, I wasn't lying. <laughs> I'm pregnant. But yeah, our reaction was like she, we thought she was lying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, um, yeah, this was just like an update video, guys. Like, we just wanted to let y'all know that we have things going on in our lives that, um, you know, if you guys message us or anything like that, don't feel offended or sad that if we don't reply, we try or, to reply. Or if we don't have time. If we don't upload as often, it's because, like, we have a life, too. Like, like we may not post, like, other YouTubers every little detail that's going on in our life. If we don't post, if we don't answer, it's for a reason. It's not to be bitches and, not, and think we're the shit and we don't want to answer you. It's because we have shit that's going on in our life. Changes coming to the channel? Oh, changes. Uh, Yaxeni said that she might not always be in every single video Mm -hmm. so expect to see videos with either just myself in Mm -hmm. it or Cynthia and me in it I mean but I'll let them know yeah Yeah. I'll let them know if I can or I can't yeah so be ready for just sissy time (laughs) yeah because I have appointments and stuff with my doctor and then I just got a lot of shit going on right now that I gotta deal with but expect a gender reveal. Most definitely, y'all are gonna see the gender reveal. How are you gonna do it? Like you, every time you go to the doctor, are you supposed to tell them like, I don't want to know the gender. No, I mean they're not gonna tell me what my my baby what the gender is until twenty weeks in. Mm-hmm. So I'm getting my first ultrasound on tomorrow Tuesday. I'm getting my first ultrasound on Tuesday, and then they're not gonna tell me what it is. They're just gonna give me a picture of my how big my baby is and mm-hmm. where it's at right now and if it's healthy or not. And, um, like, if it has any problems, which last time I went to the doctor was the beginning of this month, and it was not the doctor, it was a hospital, and they said everything was fine with my baby, Mm -hmm. so I'm assuming everything's still a-okay. But I'm not gonna know, I'm not gonna find out the gender till 20 weeks. Sandra's gonna come with me, Mm -hmm. they're gonna give her, like, the thing saying what it is, yeah. yeah. So she's the one that's gonna know, because she says she wants to plan it. I mean, I don't know if y'all wanna be a part of it, so y'all can help. And y'all could know what the gender is. Because if y'all are going to help plan the gender reveal, mm-hmm. then y'all are going to have to know what a, the baby is. Okay. So I'm probably, like, uh, everyone else, but maybe y'all three, will be the ones that know what the baby is before me. Because I'm not going to know till the gender reveal. So we'll find out at the same time. Yes. Yeah. Also, um, what else? We have lots of new videos coming soon uh, when Yaxini can film and obviously when whenever we can all film or whenever we film. When we're available. Um, so gender reveal. What do you? How do you feel about us like filming? Not you giving birth, but like vlogging that day. Like, oh do you yeah. Mind if we go? Like, no, yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> like when y'all um, getting contractions and shit. Yeah. I, we're not posting my vagina on YouTube. <laughs> Let me tell you that right now, cause it ain't pretty down there. But, um, but she, y'all can, I, like, I mean, y'all are right here. I can yeah. tell y'all when I'm going. Expect uh, a of vlog, a vlog. mini vlog of, and then, like, whenever after the baby's born, y'all are yes. gonna see the baby. Whether it's a boy or a girl, we don't know yet, but. And, um, I'm excited about that. Expect a lot of plus size videos since, um. And pregnant, you know. Pregnant, yes. you can, y'all can, we can now do maternity. Yes. Maternity Try. trials. <laughs> Which, that's going to be difficult because I feel like maternity, they don't have very good fashionable clothing. Well, I think Boo, no, well, that's an online store. But just so y'all know, Boohoo carries maternity. And I think, if y'all want to check it out, I think Fashion Nova carries it. Is this online? I think so. Alright. Go to Motherhood. Where's that? At? In Northeast Mall. <laughs> oh, there you go. I could go. So there. just stay tuned, guys, because just because of this doesn't mean that we're gonna stop videos. We're gonna try and post as much as we can. Mm-hmm. But just so y'all know, if y'all ask why Yaxani's not in a video, it's or because of that. it's probably because you know she has a baby and she needs to make it his her priority. Most definitely. I mean, I still love you guys, but. Mm-hmm. My priority, my priority right now is my kid. So, yeah. 
So just so y'all know. I'm a mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a mother. Can you believe that? <laughs> I'm a mother. <laughs> I'm sorry. I sound like what? Mother. I'm a mother. Can you believe my little baby? And I'm gonna speak only British to my kids, so they can come out having a British accent. <laughs> so yeah. Co also comment below what kind of videos y'all want to mm -hmm. see because we literally we have ideas, but since we're starting out fresh with a new year, mm -hmm. like what do y'all want to see? Like, new year, new us, right? New us. Literally. Yes. Literally. No lie. Because. But yeah, we're cut. We're gonna be coming out with like body confidence videos, which we still have a lot to work on. Hell yeah, and I feel like especially right now, since I've gained so much, I haven't even weighed myself since the last time. But the last time I weighed myself, I had gained eight pounds. I know it's because of the kid, but I am so insecure because I can see me getting fatter. Like. Although, because I had lost weight, guys. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I had lost a lot of weight compared to, like, old videos. I had lost 30 pounds, like, all together. 30 pounds in a couple months. And for me, that's a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of, of yeah. pounds. And now I've literally, like, I'm going to gain all of my weight back. And I'm not feeling myself right now, if I'm being honest. Because it doesn't look like I'm pregnant. It just looks like I'm getting fat. I'm not actually showing yet. Mm -hmm. But I have been getting more fat, so I'm trying to work on that. I'm not being so insecure, but it's really hard. Don't forget, guys, if you want to be a part of the UFFHV project. Makeover. Yes, please. Anybody in the Fort Worth area can sign not sign up, but text us, on, DM us on UFFHV, Instagram. comment on, yeah, on UFFHV yeah. Instagram. So... Come on, guys. It's literally a free makeover. Come on. <laughs> We're cool, right? All right, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below any ideas. Don't forget to uh, DM us on Instagram if you're interested in the UFFHV part, project part three. Anybody. You just have to... You uh, can be a guy. Yeah, guy. Yeah, we haven't done a guy yet. We have not done a guy yet, and we've been wanting to For do that, a guy. For we'll, that, we'll go to a barber, and we get to choose your haircut. Yes! We're too lazy. Yeah. I know. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a good first 2019 That's video. a good one, yeah.